You use energy every day, probably in many ways you don't even think about. It's there every time you turn on your computer, play video games, or turn on a light. It's also used to charge cell phones, power your refrigerator, heat water for a shower, and keep your home warm or cool. Have you ever wondered how energy gets to your home? What happens before you flip that light switch or turn on that video game that allows you to have energy whenever you want it? All the poles and wires you see along the streets and in front of your house help move the electricity to your home. Those wires connect your home to the power plants. Electricity has to travel a long way to get to your house. In fact, the power plant where your electricity is made might be hundreds of miles away. And the natural gas that heats your home works in a similar way. The gas meter and line that connects your home to natural gas travels through pipelines underground to a city gate and then continues on long distances to a refinery where it is made. But let's start at the very beginning. Many years ago, plant life and other organic life died and has existed underground for thousands of years. As the earth changed, constant pressure and heat turned this material into what we call fossil fuels, like oil, natural gas, and coal. After the fossil fuels are taken from the ground, some is burned in power plants to boil water and make steam that causes giant turbines to turn and generate electricity. Because it takes so many years to make these fossil fuels, there's a limited supply. We call these non-renewable resources, and they will eventually run out. Think of your birthday. It's a fun day, and you enjoy it while it lasts. But once it's over, that's it. You'll never have that birthday again. We enjoy using fossil fuels, but once they're gone, the party's over, and we'll have to find new energy resources. Recently, we have started to harness power from renewable energy sources like the sun and the wind. These are renewable because they will not run out. We can continue to use them and Mother Nature will just keep making more. But what do you do when the sun doesn't shine or the wind doesn't blow? You probably still want to play your video game or turn on the lights, right? It's important for us to have fossil fuels like coal and natural gas so that you can have energy when you need it. But because there is a limited supply, it's really important to use energy wisely and not waste it so it will last a long time. Now that energy is created, it has to get to your house. The newly created electricity is sent through transformers to increase the voltage to push the power over long distances. Think of this high voltage like a really tall roller coaster. The car climbs up the big hills on the roller coaster to give you enough energy to travel a long distance. By pushing the voltage higher, it can move the electricity greater distances. The electricity travels through transmission lines like these. They stretch across the country for miles, and as the electricity nears your home, it enters a place like this. It's called a substation. It lowers the voltage of the electricity. Think about that roller coaster again. It's traveling pretty fast after going up that big hill, so now you have to start putting on the brakes and slow it down so you can get off the ride. The substation is putting the brakes on the high voltage so it can be sent safely to smaller distribution power lines on the streets and underground in your neighborhood to deliver electricity to your home. The electricity is almost to your home, but it has one more stop. It filters through another transformer on a pole or on the ground near your house to make sure the voltage is safe enough to enter your home. Once inside, it's available for you to use any time you want it by just flipping on a switch or plugging into an outlet. Natural gas is moved from the ground through a network of pipelines. Compressors with engines along the way keep the gas moving through the pipeline under high pressures. Then the gas is moved to a distribution regulator station where the pressure is reduced and an odorant that smells like rotten eggs is added to the gas to make leaks easy to detect. Then the distribution main carries natural gas to service pipelines that connect to your home. There you have it. 
You've just learned how energy moves from hundreds of miles to where it was made, all the way to your home. Remember, it's important to use it wisely. Imagine what life would be like if there was no energy at your home.